good. So we've got about 20 minutes. Uh, I may get things accomplished in 20 minutes or I may go a little over. So uh, Renee, are you okay if I go a little, little over time-wise in case I do need that time? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go to you next. I think I, think I wanna do some constellation with this one. And we can use some people in the group if people are willing to be representatives. Don't worry if you haven't done Constellation with me before or anybody. I'll, it's quite amazing human beings can instantly do it. So, Renee, are you game? Yes. Okay. Now, we'll probably have to pick people who can stick around for potentially a little bit after if we need it. So if you have to leave right at the, for me, it's 5.30, so translate into your time wherever you are, right, 20 minutes from now. Maybe put your screen down, take your video off so she knows who to choose from. Yeah. Okay. So you've got, um, there's three representatives, which means there's yourself and there's two people that you're playing with dynamics with, right? So one you've already kind of entered into and thought you had to sort it out to some extent, and then a new one's shown up. And if I'm understanding right with the new one entering into the dynamic, has that flared up the previous one? Or are they related or something? No. Well, it hasn't flared it up. It was kind of an interesting dynamic. Um, so the person, that I previously had. We let me let me stop you just for one sec because I don't want to give too much information because it kind of in a way biases people. So um, so should I start? Those two people is it are they on the same project and is it still part of the dynamic or is the the thing yeah. that's causing you grief mostly the newer person? On the same project, we brought our projects together okay. after our grant. Yep. And um, we haven't talked, but as soon as we all came present again, the whole, I could feel everything I felt from before her just rise up and I'll okay. push it, you know, figure out how not to let it impact me in the same way as before. Okay. So what I'm going to do, that's a yes. And I know we were playing with three people. So I'm just pulling up one of my templates, which is a really basic one for doing constellation, what's called floor work. Now, so, oh, Catherine must have got bopped out. Let's get her back in here. Okay, so we've got yourself. I'm just going to write down our, our representatives here. We need someone for you. Now you can use the people's first name or you can make up pseudonyms, whatever you want. Just remember who they are. So uh, give me names for the two other people. Uh, MJ. MJ, yep. Mm -hmm. And KTA. KTA, okay, thank you. Now you're going to what's called place these three on the board. Now, um, Looking with the people who, who if, you, if you're on gallery view and you can see everybody yeah. who has their videos on, you're going to ask people if, uh, ask someone to be you and you're just going to intuitively know who you want to be you. And then you're going to ask somebody else to be MJ and ask somebody else to be KTA. That's if, if you have your video on, that means you're game to do this. And I'll explain later what your game to do. You have to kind of be willing to jump in. <laughs> but trust me that you will be able to do it and it will be interesting. Yeah. Okay. So they're all, everybody has their videos on is, is fair game for you to choose from. So let's start with yourself. Who do you want to ask to be you? Uh, to be me? Um, Melinda? Okay, Melinda, so, okay, okay, great. So what you're gonna do is 
I'm going to be use my little drawing thing here and I'm going to draw a circle. And if you see in front of you, this is like a grid. It's pretty light. So you might not be able to see it up at the top. It says one through 11. So there's like 11 up at the top. And then down um, on the left hand side, it's A, B, C, D, E, F. It's like a, a map grid, right? And it's just a way of guiding me about where that one goes. This is a, if we were doing this in real life, if we were doing constellations, we would literally be in a room and this would be the floor. So think of ourselves up in the chandelier view. We're up in the chandelier looking down at the ballroom. And um, Melinda's going to be you. And Melinda, if you know how to rename yourself, rename yeah. yourself Renee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Renee, you're going to now place her. And what I mean by that, you're going to just, you're an amazingly intuitive person. So you're just going to use your intuition. You're going to feel into this ballroom floor. And you know that there's a place that you're standing on this ballroom floor. It's where you go. You're eventually going to place these two other people, but you're going to go in here first. So where do you guide me? Where is your intuitive place on this floor? Might be easier if you look at it. Look at the floor. Yep. <laughs> so I'm near near the front okay. of the room. And just I felt like just left of the center. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, so when you say the front, I'm going to take that up here. If you can see, see here, is it up at the top? And I'm going to, I'll put it in here and then you guide me where I need to move it. Uh, just a little bit to the right, maybe just on, just on the other side of it. Uh, just, yeah. Closer to the six, I guess. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. A little bit close about there. Good. About there. Okay. Now, which way are you looking? I'm looking out. Meaning uh, up, right. up to the top of the page, to the left, to the right, to the bottom? Yeah. Out. Mm -hmm. Which way's out? Toward the bottom. So down, down like that? Yeah, looking toward the bottom. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Good. So I'm just going to put R for you. Now we're going to repeat the same thing and choose someone to be MJ. Ask them, are you willing to be MJ? Karen, uh, would you be MJ? She's yes. giving you a yes. So do the same thing. Figure out where's MJ's position on the floor. Just do it quick, intuitively, felt sense, your body knows. To the, um, uh, toward the seven. Yep. Next to you, down, down lower. Next to, but, uh, but apart from me. Okay. So right over top of the line where the seven is. Yep. Okay. Which way? Is he or she looking? Uh, also, same direction I'm looking. Ah, okay. And that's MJ. Okay. Thank um, you. We'll, we'll come back there. And now let's go to KTA. Who's your rep for KTA? Valerie, would you be KTA? Okay. And she is like over uh, where eight is. Like yep. Right over top of eight. In, in a row to the rest of you? Yeah. We're okay. All, all in the same kind mm -hmm. of. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Yep. She's looking like she's looking toward me, but not directly at me. Mm, so like that? Yeah, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, kind of. So ma help me make it what it, no, what it yeah. should be. Like, like, like that. Like, okay, that's okay. You know. Um, Nose up a little more? Yeah, maybe it's more like almost looking side yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like that. Is that yeah. correct? Okay, good. See, you're felt knowing, right? It's amazing. You just know. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do, so those of you who are inhabiting these roles, it's amazing, you know how to do this. We've all been in lots of different rooms, right, in space. And those of you who, are, who didn't get selected for reps, you're holding the container. So you're here with me holding the container. So lots happens for reps as, or for container holders as well, as we'll see soon enough here. And depending on what these reps mean, don't be offended <laughs> that you got selected for something. She just intuitively knew that you have the ability and capacity to hold this and to be a translator for this. I get chosen for all sorts of roles and I often have to tell myself, God, why do they always choose the evil witch one for me? <laughs> but apparently I have the ability to hold the evil witch energy. I, I take that honorably. Okay. So, uh, and also I like, get angels and love and all that good stuff too. Okay, so who do you want to go to first, Renee? This is, by the way, I'm going to draw down here. You and I are kind of outside the circle, right? And so we're kind of sitting here. And first off, before we even go to check in with our reps, I'm kind of saying to you, which I am through the power of Zoom here, I'm like, huh, look at those three ones out on that floor. How is that for you? Anything that you notice as you kind of observe them? Anything that stands out for you? It doesn't have to. We're going to go in and check what's going on for your reps here in a second, but just that's normally a first place to start. Um, probably the first thing is the, that I, just the separation. Okay, yeah, so you notice separation. Good. Anything else? And I guess it feels like, like, a, a, alone in a way, um, some mm -hmm. level of aloneness, um, but yet required to be with. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So you as the observer watching this kind of spatial representation, visual representation of the energy dynamics going on, that's what it does for you. Okay, very good. So I'm going to wander on over and uh, each of you who are the reps, just throw your consciousness into that circle. Don't ask me how you know how to do this. I just know you do. It's amazing. So you throw your consciousness in there, get right in there, inhabit that. That's your body. Inhabit that nose where it's looking. Become aware of those other characters on the floor. And just your body will kind of tell you. There might be some feelings or sensations. There might be some stances, some thoughts that happen. Renee, who do you want me to go over and ch chat with first? Um... KTA. Okay, so I'm just going to gently stand up very quietly and smoothly and gracefully walk over to KTA and remind me who KTA, oh good, you changed it, that's Val, excellent. And MJ, we've got Karen, good, I know who people are, good. So KTA, I'm walking over to you and I'm standing next to you and I'm saying, how is it for you? How is it for you standing in this position in this floor? There's two others on the floor. You may or may not be aware of them. How is it for you? And just tell me, KTA, Val, uh, how is it for you? What do you notice? Well, the first thing I noticed was Just, uh, I can always tell when I take on somebody who's got some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so she notices some stuff? So uh, you're... <laughs> bit of a control thing going on. Um, kind of got my nose in it. Kind of um, feel like I'm entitled to have my nose in it. Um gotta watch these people very closely now when you say these people very closely tell me a bit about you got one right in front of you that it kind of 
your nose is right at, and then there's one beyond. Feel the same way? Got to watch both of them, or is there different nuances with? Yeah, um, there's it. I, 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 I'm not trusting R. Um, mm -hmm. It's not exactly the same dynamic. Okay, with R and MJ. So you don't trust R, and what comes up for you about MJ? Um, well, this, this is a horrible phrase. Uh, <laughs> I got to ride her. I've got to like really, really micromanage everything here. Okay, thank you. Good repping. If it's, um, you can just dip your toe in it. So if it's uncomfortable, remember you can take your toe out. And then again, I might ask you to dip it in, right? So good job. So some information, come back up and I stand uh, next to you, Renee. I get out of there and go, hmm, that was interesting. <laughs> I could see you nodding your head and stuff. So that I would assume means like, that's kind of bang on. Yeah. Yes. Who do you want to go to next? Um. Let's go to, uh, let's go to MJ. Okay, so same thing. I'm going to walk on over to MJ. And I'm going to come up next to you and I'm going to say, how is it for you? Boy, you got one behind you, one in front of you. How is it for yeah, you? Yeah, so I reacted to this on two different levels. From my, from the diagram, my sense was we're supposed to be a team, but we're not. Um, MJ and KTA were separate and maybe I as MJ and KTA, maybe we're ganging up on you or maybe we're being separate or maybe we're just doing something to, to get, band I'm together. Gonna stop, I'm going to stop you for a sec. Yeah. Get, get in there instead of thinking about it. Maybe you're already doing that, but get in there and talk as her. So I walk up or him. I don't know who oh, okay. it is. Okay, I, I MJ. Well, well, they, are, what, they are separate. As MJ. Oh, 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 God, oh, okay, I understand. I as MJ, Katie and I are, and Renee, we are supposed to be a team, yet I am, but I feel separate from Renee, and I feel closer to, to KTA, and I don't feel as close to Renee. Okay, okay, good. So that was sort of my, my first level. My yeah. second reaction, I, I am J. Yep. I, I am thinking really loudly, what is the matter with you? Why can't you do a better job? It doesn't really matter what the answer is. Why do you care so much? Ah. I hope that's IMJ. And, and who are you saying that to? Um, oh, that's really interesting. Um, unclear. I don't know if I am thinking that about myself or if that's something I'm thinking I have said to someone else. The direction, I don't know. It was okay. really strong and fast and and weird. So, okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's what happens when you embody other people's consciousness too, right? So different things can happen. So closer to KTA, not so much to R, to Renee. So, so, and there's, there's a sentence swirling around and you're not quite sure where the sentence belongs or where it came from, but the, the, the consciousness sentence is, uh, why do you care so much? Great. And, uh, uh, who are you, who, what, you're looking in a certain way. So I'm just kind of curious, is there anything down there that you're looking at or what, what's your feeling or consideration about that direction? I feel like we're looking in the same direction, but we're not looking at each other or ah. engaging with each other. Okay. Same direction, not engaging. Okay, very good. Thank you. So I walk back over and I kind of take a look at you, Renee, and I go, hmm, there's another one. That was, that was interesting. Okay. Now, um, before I check in with you deeper with that, I, I'm just feeling compelled to, to go to the third rep, which is yourself. So I'm going <laughs> to, Renee the Great. <laughs> <laughs> Same mm -hmm. thing, I'm going to walk over, I'm going to stand next to you, and I'm going to say, how is it for you? You've got these two other characters on the board. You're look, looking a certain direction. You've, I've heard their report out, so you may have reacted to the different things that were sure. going on. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm facing forward because that's where our audience is. Um, that's where our, you know, kind of customer is. The reason we're all here 
and I'm really focusing on doing a good job, you know, for whoever this grant is for. And I don't know why they're kind of bickering amongst each other and with me. We've all got to look forward together. I'm confident in, in the work we're doing. I just feel like they're dragging me down. Why can't they get on the same page with me? Mm. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk on over and come next to you, Renee, and kind of sit side by side to go, okay, now we've heard from everybody. So same kind of question, what's going on for you as we hear these three report outs? Uh, it's, it's interesting because there's a lot of, there's a lot of truth there and there are some nuances there that, you know, that I'm picking up. I, uh, there, there are new news for you? Yeah. Um, just some nuances. Okay. Not necessarily so much, um, what the thing that's popping out was the question, why do you care so much? Hmm. Popping out to me. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, it's got your attention. Yeah. 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 And you know, the, the other thing is the being micromanaged comes across very much to me and the whole entitlement comes across very much. And I think that's what I've been reacting to. Mm -hmm. That's you are not the boss of me. Mm -hmm. coming, you know, it's like, no. <laughs> No. Um, so, yeah. Um, so those things, those things, those things stand out. Um, okay. So with that, I'm just, I took a screenshot of that and now I'm just going to do a quick erase. So this is, this is the kind of the first pass of that information. Don't worry. I've got all that. It's inside everybody. Don't worry with me erasing this. Okay. So with that information, I'm just going to say to the three reps, does anybody have anything that they feel like doing as in moving? Are you fine the way that you're positioned or is there any sort of impulse that's there for you? If so, let me know if there's any impulses. Christina, yep. I'll share that I think, um, I feel like taking a step forward mm -hmm. in the direction that the nose is pointing. Okay, so let's do that and see what happens. Tell me when. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And tell me as you step forward, what happens for you? I need to put myself in a position of power and authority, kind of show my stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> and show who's boss and then move toward, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like there's an audience in this room that we're all looking toward and that that's where our attention needs to go. And I want to physically demonstrate that that's where we need to be focusing. And that's where I'm going to put my energy and not in the, um, the, the behavior that MJ and KT are demonstrating. I don't think that that moves us forward. So okay. I'm not, I don't want to draw myself into that. I kind of maybe want to separate myself a little bit. Mm -hmm. So for you, the actual instinct, and you just took it, was to take a step forward and really put that focus on the audience. And it's, there's an assumption of, of being the boss and, and power and authority in that movement. Okay, yeah. thank you. Let me go to MJ and KTA. Um, I, I'm feeling MJ first. How was that for you? Um, I had two reactions. I thought I was farther away, like over at A10, B10, but then it shifted and I felt if you step forward, I can step forward too. Huh. So, so parallel, just basically coming back parallel, not necessarily closer. So mm -hmm. just actually straight down and parallel to R. Okay. 
So kind of coming where you were, following that lead. Yeah. Yeah. And is there a feeling of any shift in uh, where, where's your focus? Are you focused on that audience too? Or are you focused on, on either one of those other characters? How's your emotions going? Kind of in my head. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't quite trust R yet. Okay. So there's still a bit of wariness there, yeah. but the, you're, you are following that movement yeah. as she took that, as she took that step, then you're like, okay, I'll follow that lead. Okay. Thank you. Let's go to KTA. So KTA, how was that for you? Uh, first R moved and then MJ moved. Ah, it's a football scrimmage. Um, I, yeah, I, the, the immediate impulse I had when, when R moved forward was to get between R and MJ, but mm. not, not in front of coming from behind. Mm. So that suggests to me that there's something underhanded uh, that wants to be done to kind of split this, 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 I, I'm a real politician. <laughs> Um, but the thing is, that was the original impulse was to move here. And then you're saying something else happened yeah, after they both moved. Just, yeah. After they both moved is I want to come in between them. Right. But, um, but the, the impulse I'm getting is that you can expect this, but you can also diffuse this if you huh. can see it, if you can see it coming. Um, this person is Yeah, let so, me stop you because I think it, I think that might be Valerie as the process professional interpreting it, right. which I think is Sorry. also useful. That's okay. That, that's useful information too. So you're getting some strategy from your colleague, right? So she's saying right. Right. you can probably get to anticipate this and do something with it. That's inter that's valid information. Go back right. into go back into KTA and see there was originally ooh there was a movement to get in between and then the two of them came is that movement still there or where where is there any impulse to to change or move or do anything i still want to move in between okay and we're just going to go with that i'm not that clever <laughs> You're not that clever, is that what you said? That the <laughs> one trick, one trick pony. Let's get in between. Where's your nose go? Is it still there, or does it? Uh, let's see. Now I, I'm still. I'm. I think I'm still a little fixated on on MJ for some reason. I okay. Really kind of. Uh, so it's we need weird. It's almost protective. Okay. So does that mean you're looking at MJ now, or what are you doing? Uh, kind of, well, keeping an eye on both of them, but more towards MJ. Okay. So the nose, the nose kind of shifts MJ. here and it's looking more at MJ. Okay. Yeah. And is there any um, sensations that come with that focus more on MJ? Is there any, you're looking more at that person. It, how does that feel? How is that to be more focused on that person? I, I feel like MJ is actually easier to keep in line. Okay. Nope. <laughs> You're getting some, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now I'm going to say, uh, uh, let me actually come out. I'm going to walk over to you, Renee, because that was a lot of information at multiple levels, which is cool. You got help from a process professional and got help from all the reps. So what's going on for you as you get this next layer of info? Yeah, um, so a lot of it definitely relates. Um, me stepping forward was definitely about shifting the focus and not trying to get pulled into a bunch of negative energy because I feel that what we have to do is just too important to allow myself to get taken out personally for mm -hmm. something that I know is bigger than me. Yep. I've got to figure out how to deal with this. Um, not surprised by the KTA move to mm -hmm. come from behind and to try to separate 
and the diversion to the attention to MJ because she absolutely is easier to control because half the time she's not paying attention. So she didn't even really know that this whole control thing was going on. You know, and um, uh, also it's a power move because MJ's boss, both of her bosses hold the money. Mm. They, they will be holding the money. And she walked away with almost, I mean, a crazy amount of the money for the project. And so she knows she's got to play this game to keep the attention okay, off. Okay, let's place money. Choose somebody who hasn't been placed yet to be the rep for the money. Somebody to be the rep for the money. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, Oh, wow. Mm. Ref for the money. You got two left. I see. <laughs> um, Meta, could you ref the money, please? Are you sorry, willing? Ma are you willing to be a rep for money? A ref Permika? Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, goody. Okay, so get ready. She's going to tell us where money belongs on this board. So, Renee, feel in, and where does money go? Well, uh, money has the highest position. Um, so, money is, money is up above MJ. Um, mm. love, like at the very top of the screen. Yep. Still on the board or off the board or where? Uh, on the board, but at the very, very top of where seven is. Okay. Yeah. So I'll put it, I'll put it right here. There's like two bosses above her. Ah, okay. That makes sense. How you're orient orienting as above. Good. They hold the money. Mm -hmm. to them and because he works for them you know and which way is money looking out toward the audience okay so it's looking down there too okay that person ultimately understands that it's about the well just let's go check with the rep because you're interpreting but and that's okay but you got a rep here so let's ask your rep so, so Hermerka, you already may have done it. So throw your consciousness in there. Yeah. And I walk up to you and I say, how is it for you? What is it as you embody that space and you feel that being on that floor behind these characters? How is it? Powerful. Mm. Very, very powerful. Um, standing tall and feeling as if the ants starts and ends with me ah and is there any uh, awareness about the three people that are in front of you and the audience down there further on or where's your orientation and focus I feel like the orientation and focus is not really driven to one single person mm-hmm it's really about how I might be used. And okay. my influence on that person and their decision. Okay, so you're involved with all of them and there's influencing going on. Have I got that right? Anything you would add? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, do you have, um, actually, let me check with the others before I go there. Okay, everybody, so money's on the board. So I'm going to walk to each person, and I'm going to start with MJ. MJ, how is it for you? Um, I have the money. I know how to get the money. You are need me to get more money. Okay. Mm. And KTA, how is it for you? I have to be where the action is. <laughs> um, uh, I feel very protective 
of the money and also um, would like some of that and would like to be able to control some of that. And uh, walk over to Renee and ask the same thing. How's it for you as money shows up? Yeah, I um, really have a, a instinct to reach out, kind of like there's an arm towards um, KTA and bring her in. Mm, the little arm's showing up here. So KTA, an arm kind of reaches out. How is that for you? Mm, I'm suspicious. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I want to, I want to try to figure this one out. Okay. Money, I saw you doing a lot of nodding. Does that mean that you like that extension of that arm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would say that money, money as money, I am, I don't have an affinity to one single person. It's whoever would use me. Mm. for the purposes that it needs to be used for. Makes sense. So you feel some purpose and some use happening when that extension of arm happens. So you're like, oh, yes. goody, you're going to get used well here. Yes. Okay, thank you. Anybody who's feeling anything, any movement, any stuff going on? Oh, no, don't think you can work around me like that. Mm. I'm what? Uh, I'm reacting to R reaching out to KTA mm. to try to change the dynamic and team up against me and cut me out. Okay. So some information there, Renee. Mm. Just you're getting the nuance about what's important, right? So... Mm. And Christina, the vision that I have is that it's the arm bringing together the three players in order to maximize the impact of money for the audience. And so if there were a group united moving forward toward the audience. So, 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 say, so say that to MJ. Say, M, say MJ, okay. I'm, I'm not doing that to well, just so, go for KTA and cut you out. I'm doing that for. Um, so even if I wouldn't have had that um, insight, or I guess Renee has that insight now, I don't know if she would or not, um, but the act of bringing KTA together with us is so that we can leverage all of our strengths and resources because this grant isn't about us. Okay, this project so- is about the so, the, so the sentence to MJ is, I want to leverage our resources. And what else? I want to bring us together mm. for the good of the um, audience or customer or whoever that the benefactors are. Okay, very good. So as those sentences come at how how is that mj how does that land for you oh, Money, money's happy money's shaking its head right, yeah. right but but you didn't reach out to me you only reached out to kta so mm -hmm. i i, I want to believe you but um it seems like this is kind of plastered on afterwards so what's the sentence back to that renee to mj mj's not so sure yeah. like oh they look like just a reach to, to kta to me yeah, I think there might be a need for some clarity of, of, and of what we see in each other's intentions. Okay. So tell her so, you're in, so, yeah, so, my no, intention all along is that you're a player, right? You're a value part of this team. And so if there's any friction or something that's in unbalance, my job is to reach out and bring that together and work through it. But it sounds like, you know, the energy that I'm feeling is, is maybe not so much about me, but it's about your perception of, of your role. So I'm curious about that. 
So MJ, uh, she's saying you're a valued player, you're part of the team, and there's also like, maybe I've got something mixed up here about how, how you perceive your role and how I do. How's, how do you respond to that? So I appreciate that we can, we might want to talk about intentions and listen, we share a mission. We, we, we both want to succeed and, and this is important. And I think we might need to talk about some of the dynamics. So where you're saying that I'm a valued player and, and part of the team, are you in charge of the team? Um, Cause that, the way that's stated sounds like someone who's like in charge. I don't know if we're all equal or, or if I'm in charge of the team. I don't, I don't, I, don't I, I forgot my role. Um, but I think we've got some things to work through, but I, but I do like your focus on at the end of the day, it's about doing what we're here to do and doing good. And I think we could work more on trying to clear the air and do some things. Um, but I think we got a ways to go. Okay. Yeah. But there's some, there is some shared alignment there. So, okay. Thank you very much. So I'm going to step out and I'm going to come next to you, Renee. Can I, I can fiercely see you take some notes, which is great because you're getting lots of good limbic sentences and strategies and ways of working with the dynamic. How was that for you when it came out? Like, whoa, are you in charge? Like, what's my role? That's what stood out for me. There might have been other things that stood out for you. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's um that's always a dynamic in play mm. um and i've chosen a particular way to deal with that because i know she needs to be out front i don't have to be out front i just got to do what i got to do but i know she has a need to be out front she has to be seen she has to be seen as the one and so i've made peace with you got to be seen as the one I'm just going to continue to carry out because I have, in this mix of all of us, I have this, the view of the system. Yep. <laughs> and I'm building the system and they are building projects. And I've always held the view of the system. And so... Money's nodding its head. Okay. Yep. I've always had the view of the system. So it's not even about me. I'm not even composting. You know, okay. I'm, I'm building the system. And so, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tap you out there. So I'm going to um, go over to your rep and the rep heard all that. So rep, if any of that you resonate with, translate and say that to MJ and see what happens. If it's yeah. not authentic, don't, but if there's something in there or tweak it to make it authentic for you, do it. Yeah. I mean, it, it came out very authentically that, you know, I can acknowledge um, your passion for the program and the role that um, you want to have and where you're valuable in the project and um, where we need each other. And I have a perspective that's a systems perspective. You have a perspective that's around program. And I tell her, she, tell her you can be out front. I'm okay with being behind. You can be out front. I'm okay being behind and I actually, that's a good perspective to be able to hold from behind. It's valuable too. Thank you. Now I'm going to walk over to MJ. And yeah. I like the way we're talking about how we can play complementary pieces and we each bring different things that we can do compatible. I'm still getting a little vibe of Renee, you're like coming across as superior to me. I don't know if I report to you or not. I'm still getting a little of that, but I think I think I think that's like a separate issue. I think we've we've had some really good discussion about how we can make this a win for everybody. Okay, could I go. respond? I want to check with money. So let me check with money. Okay, and then I'll come back. Money, how is it for you? Money. I just has... speak as I. I, um, I, so mm -hmm. I see myself as a resource that could provide access to whomever needs it for the greater good. Even though I am very powerful, I must be used wisely and for the good of what 
communities you serve. So it's not about position, it's about how do you access the resources and distribute it in a way that best serves the communities that you serve. Um, money, I think you're probably saying that to everybody. And is, is that, do you want to say that to MJ specifically, or is there anything you want to say specifically to MJ or to anybody else on the board? Sure. So I do want to say that to everybody, but also specifically to MJ. If you, MJ, if you think about why we are here and why you are here, think about how you would use me in a way that will benefit everyone. I think I already do that. How do you MJ, respond, honey? Mm -hmm. MJ, if you take a moment to think about how your role benefits the organization, as well as KTA and R, how are you leveraging money to create the sum of all parts for the good of the organization and for greater impact? So, but Renee has said she doesn't like getting micromanaged and I forget if it's by KTA or if it's by me. Um, you know, and she doesn't care for that dynamic and I'm, I'm respecting that. What I'm not sure is why am I not respected when I say this is coming across in kind of a superior way. I, I, I believe we're all committed to using money in the best way. I think we just have some dynamics about sort of like who's in charge and who's setting roles and who's doing the directions. And, and I think we're making some progress. I'm just, I'm just, I still get this little bit of a superior vibe from Renee and I haven't heard really anyone kind of address, address that. And, and maybe the issue is that, um, I, I'm not being sufficiently deferential to Renee. Maybe I'm supposed to be doing more to follow Renee's lead, and maybe that's why she stepped forward. And maybe I've just been sort of unclear on my role in the project. Or I, might go so, I might go somewhere else, valid. So, so I want to check with money to see if money has anything to say about the, this, about money, what's going on here with this role confusion? Is there role confusion or what's, what's up? Because MJ seems to believe, uh, and it seems that that they've been doing what you've been wanting them to do. What's your take? Uh, you might sure have a useful take My, or not, but I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. What I'm hearing is that I am I'm being used for power plays. Mm. I'm not being used for the needs or the resources that I'm expected to provide that aligns with the mission and good of the organization, but rather I'm seen as a way to secure power, positional power specifically. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm going to check MJ. MJ, right out of the mouth of money. How does that land? So I, I'm unclear. More money was granted to me, and, and I'm just moving forward with that. I, I didn't mean to, you know, yeah, I, all right. So I get what I said earlier um, about Renee needing to come to me. That, that does feel like, I, I understand that. I understand money's concern. The part I still don't understand is, again, I'm hearing that I'm sort of like, I think we're supposed to be equals. And so money, I hear your criticism that because I got more of the money, maybe I'm not being fair to Renee that I'm being, or R that I'm being trying to be superior because of the money. And so maybe that's why she's pushing back. And maybe that's why she's coming across as superior to me or acting superior is maybe she's trying to level the playing field. Okay, thank you, MJ. So there's some consideration happening and there's some mm -hmm. pointing out. So thank you, Money, that, that you got some stuff swirling around for MJ, different than what was going on before. Let me go check with KTA. KTA, what's going on for you? There's been a lot of dialogue happening in other places. It's funny because the level, the level of the conversation is like kind of above my head. I've got like a really narrow, mm -hmm. narrow focus, which is a pr product of this culture. Mm -hmm. which is a very competitive culture. Mm -hmm. um, so 
so it's a, yeah, it's a little bit above my head. Um, I, I think the most important thing is that don't leave me out of this. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it, it busts me down to my very basic, I have made myself so important in this dynamic by mm -hmm. controlling everything or controlling as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to suddenly throw all the parts up in the air and we're all going to come down equal, <laughs> you know. So, uh, so, so money, right? A lot of the stuff around positional power. So this mm -hmm. is kind of tweaking you, KTA, about uh, don't, not wanting to, understandably, not be left out of it. You work, worked very hard to get here and there's stuff you're doing and you're focused on your particular thing. So all this swirl back and forth kind of makes you a, would uneasy be a, a way to label it? Yeah, well, it's, it's, I don't even know if it functions in this organization, but it's like, you know, whispers of layoffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I going to get pushed out of this entirely? Because, um, you, okay. You guys are going off and making this agreement. Okay. So, psst, Renee, right? This is really getting into survival <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now let me go over to Renee on the floor. Yeah. What's so going I've, on for you? Yeah, I had an aha moment earlier in the conversation where it just kind of dawned on me that I'm chugging along, you know, looking at all the pieces and parts and how they can play together best to serve the communities and just didn't even realize the fear and uncertainty that my colleagues may be facing. And you know, I guess to put a label on it, I, I kind of come at it from a servant leadership perspective and was totally disregarding any concern for hierarchy. Mm. But I hear that that's really important to MJ. And um, with both MJ and KTA, you know, role clarity is important and it is to me too. I just see it from a systems perspective and, and maybe I just jumped a few steps ahead and I wanna, you know, slow down. And that's why I'm reaching my arms out to make sure that KTA is included and that we figure this out together, what our roles are so that we can offer our strengths in this project because it's about the communities. Very good, thank you. I'm gonna do one final thing here. When we do this, it doesn't mean we tie it all in a bow, but there's been a lot of movement here and I know that you're getting a lot of good information, Renee. Peggy, I'm gonna ask you to step in. And I'm gonna, instead of Renee placing you, I'm gonna ask you to find your place. And what you're gonna be is you're gonna be kind of a mystery ingredient. We may not necessarily know what you are specifically, but you're gonna be a resource. Mm. Okay, you're a resource. There's some stuff going on here. I'm just very aware of the audience, right? I'm aware of what money's been saying about the, for greater impact in the communities that this is also supposed to be about. So I'm bringing you in as a resource on the community side that can be a little magic ingredient for getting folks doing, doing so that the communities can have the impact that this money is supposed to be assisting. Hopefully that makes sense, but don't let your body do it instead of your mind do it. So you see where these cast of characters are in the field. As you step into it, find your place in here. Where's the right positioning for you as a, a meta support agent? I'm gonna um, suggest that I'm I don't, I can't see the numbers on my screen and I apologize, but you can the, direct me. Yeah. Okay. So the bottom on the right hand side, as I look at the screen. Ah, yep. So yeah, I can see right it. in here. Okay. Yeah. And which way are you looking? I'm actually looking towards the community, looking towards the community as well. Looking down. Yep. <laughs> but I, I am part of the community as well. So I'm, I'm just looking at I feel like I'm a single mom and I'm trying to make it in this world and and I'm waiting for something to happen and I just can't I can't understand what the delay is about. Mm. You may have switched your consciousness to the community because I brought you in as a meta asset and yeah. you may still be that but I'm just wondering 
given what just came out, I honor what you tapped into, but I'm wondering if you tapped into something here in the community because you said I'm part of the community. Check if I'm right or I could be wrong, direct me. Well, I, I'm an individual, but I'm also part of the community, but I, I guess I'm an advocate for the community in a way. Ah, okay. But I'm also a single mom, so I'm an advocate for myself because I, I don't have a lot of resources. And I've heard about this project and I'm waiting for something to happen. And it's taking a long time. And what is your impulse for movement? If you're positioned there, is there any, you're, you're the meta asset here, the, the resource to help with the whole thing. Just yeah. checking to see if there's any movement or if there's any sentence you want to speak. I think that's my, my impulse is to put my arm around everyone and turn us all around so that we're, we're a force directed at the, the resources, at the, the team that's supposed to be creating a project for us. Ah, so let me help that movement here. I'm just going to outstretch your arms here. You've turned everybody around. Get this one here. And then you're pointing everybody in that direction. But Thank it you. doesn't feel like people are looking at us. Like there's also that whole dynamic where people are looking sort of so missing us. They're kind of ah. looking at something else. So are you kind of like, hey, look at us? Yeah, yeah, I think that's okay. it. Yeah. Okay, good. So you're saying everybody received this sentence look at us, see us, mm. remember us. Yeah. Ooh, I just got goosebumps. Me too. <laughs> Money, how is that for you? It, I see that as the reason why we're here. I see that meta as the reason why we're here. And that persona is what we should always be focused on as we use, as I use, as I am used for that resource. Okay. I see KTA nodding, so I'm going to agree. Yeah, that's, that, that's something worked for you there. Yeah. What's, how was it for you, MJ? Unmute. Yeah, I think a lot better. Okay. Wow. That was goosebumpies again. Good. Good, good, good. Anybody have any final sentences they want to offer from your role? right? Be in the role. If there's a sentence that wants to come out from the role or a movement that wants to happen, let me know. I see lots of smiles. How is it for you on the floor, Renee? The first reaction was, this is what I've been trying to tell you guys all along. <laughs> and then some introspection of how can I do this better? Ah, very good. And yeah. this may be kind of me at the meta level observing, but what really struck is I need to use the community's voice to, mm. to um, say my piece. Me saying it for some reasons is not landing with MJ and KTA. So maybe using the, the voice of the community to pull them forward if, if they're not willing to come forward with me. Okay, very good. Right Thank now. You. Good. I see KTA a greeting. Money as happy as can be. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say. Yeah, please go ahead, Money. <laughs> please go ahead. Yeah. I just realized as I was sitting here listening and soaking this in, I am not as valuable as the unique gifts that each of you bring to create this impact for the community. So everybody hear that money is valuing your unique gifts. In a way you've been selected because your gifts can help this community. Thank you. Thank you. Lands, lands, lands. Okay. There may be more is gonna continue to unfold, uh, but I think we got to an interesting place that's giving uh, good information uh, to Renee. I'm going to come back and check with Renee in a sec. Renee, you're going to release your reps. So you're going to go to each person and you're going to thank them for being the rep and tell them you release them. And when you get released, 
shake it off. Step back into your consciousness. Don't take it home with you. Let it go. <laughs> I just want to say one little thing from where oh, I am. Yep. Um, I feel this huge opening up. Mm, nice. Um, and more idealism than I personally have as well. Mm. And that's the part that has been concealed under all those layers of control. Ah, okay. So underneath that is actually an idealist. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting information. Thank you. No, it's huge. It's like my whole upper body is like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not this big normally. <laughs> You've got an idealist and a hidden idealist in there. Oh, idealist, yes. am I saying it right? Yes, yeah. yes I do. I yeah. do. Yeah, I'm saying that to Renee. Yeah, that, that, that's, some, that's some super duper information about K KTA underneath it all. Underneath the mask and persona, right? In the heart level. Yeah, at the meta mm -hmm. level. Yeah. Okay, Th so choose your reps. Go in whatever order you want. Thank them and tell them I release you. I want to thank uh, MJ, Karen, I release you. Thank you so very, very much. Um, and say uh, back to her what's, um, what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. Thank you. What's yours and what's mine is mine. Thank you. So nope, much. that's Karen says that okay. too. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. that, work, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> what's yours is yours, what's mine is mine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to uh, release Valerie as KTA. Thank you so very much. Thank you. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. Thank you. I want to release uh, Pig, uh, the resource. Appreciate you uh, and want to release you also. Thank you for this process. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. And last but not least, <laughs> I want to release Hermeta. That's Hermika, yes. Hermika, I can't see that. Yes. Okay, Hermika, yes. uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for everything and I uh, appreciate you very much. Thank you, it was my honor. What's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. You're welcome to keep a little bit of money if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, did we release everybody? Now you're going to release me as your facilitator and saying, and I understand I am the best facilitator for me. And Christina, I release you as well. And I, I, well, I appreciate you. I recognize that I am the best facilitator for me. So thank you so very, very much. You're very welcome. What's yours is yours. What's mine is mine. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm going to walk back over to you, Renee, even though you released me. Right? Uh, anything you want to say to your colleagues? Thank you, everybody, for that uh, was a little bit of systemic constellation with a visual touch. Yeah, I, I, I'm grateful. I, I am just immensely grateful right now. Um, there is so much revealed. In, I mean, there were some things that were just like landed, like boom. And there's some things that were nuanced and, you know, there's some details I know, um, uh, but very useful to me. I mean, I, I, I feel... I just feel grateful that you were able to stand in those places and not have, but just trust that those things that I needed to hear came to you, through you, for me, for my consideration, um, for me to take it in, to embrace it. And so I just, I, I deeply appreciate you for that. Thank you, Renee. Uh, we have container holders that I'd like you to release, and then I'm going to see if the container holders have any information that they'd like to share, any closing comments. So, Pauline and Pat. Okay, uh, so Pauline, one at a time. Okay, so yep. Pauline, I, I release you as well as a container holder. 
greatly appreciate you holding space. That is a tremendous thing to do for someone else. I, I know what that's like. So I, I thank you for doing that for me and I release you. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, everybody. Um, what's mine is mine. <laughs> what's yours is yours. And um, just a beautiful process and execution of presence and guidance. Thank you. Thank you. And Pat, also, uh, thank you so very much for being a container holder and um, appreciate you taking on that, that very important role. And I also release you. And Pat, I know you got stuff going on, so you up to you about whether anything you want to say back on your behalf, I will release you if necessary. She's got some family stuff going on, so I think she's multitasking. So what's hers is hers, what's yours is yours, released. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, thank you. It's different every time. So that's what happened this time. And uh, uh, hopefully you're taking your nuggets and it's going to... Uh, cascade through your particular field and we will be back um i go to the calendar and i just take a look after i've done one and i just kind of intuitively feel when i th think the right time is i try to mix it up in terms of days and times so it uh ideally hopefully will hit different people in their schedules and their ability to attend so pat will follow up with the recording and with the maps those of you who have maps individually you'll get those sent individually as well. Um, this gets posted over on the process pop-up page and also on my YouTube channel. You'll get a, an email notification when that all has happened, as well as, like I said, the date for next time. Um, I already mentioned the things coming up. There's one spot left in the visual coach certification that starts in September, September 21. Two prerequisites for that something that uh, trained you in working visually, whether through me or somebody else, and then going through Shift It, because Shift It is a big part of it. And like I mentioned, Shift It has a intensive coming up. It's a good way to get it done quick, 28, 29, and 30. There's also a home study component if those dates don't work for you. And uh, I think that's probably it. You can go to my courses page and website to check out stuff. I also do um, individual coaching as well, private coaching. If you oh. don't want things recorded and you just want things you know, work one to one with me and not shared with the world. So you can find that on my site. And I've dropped it down to what I usually have in my seasonal sales, given what's going on in the world. So you can check that out. Thank you. That was a delight. That was really some great process work. I appreciate Thank the you. vulnerability. You. And you guys, you Thank reps you. were amazing. Thanks, yeah. everybody. Thank Good you luck so today. much. This was awesome. <laughs> Good yeah, working with you all. Yes. Yeah. Stay safe. Yes. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye. you too. Bye for now. And, and all Bye. the best, Renee. We'll see what movement happens. Yeah.